Jesus. Yikes, bro. Oh, he's eating. <gasps> Come on, bro. Is that a pancake? And what is that? What? Welcome back, everybody. Oh, died in my intro, Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Lush. Always the consummate professional. <laughs> But as professional as you. Yeah. Honey, sometimes when people get a cell phone in their hand, Sorry, their eye, wait. oh boy. <laughs> Honey, the beauty of the digital age is sometimes people get a cell phone in their hand and their IQ goes to zero. That's why we're here today watching some videos where it's like, why did, what? Whatever that means, Listen, you're gonna love this first one. Actually, this might sober you up. No, no. Wow, right out of the gates, dude. I haven't even seen the video yet. I'm just She's laughing at you. She's cooked. <laughs> It's tough being married to a funny, handsome guy, you know, boy. Oh, okay. I feel like we gotta shake the sillies out or something right now. Nah, oh shake God. them in, dude. Shake those sillies okay, in. Ready, Keep it go. going. Today, I'm gonna play basketball with my little brother. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you hear that was coming? I cheated. I saw this one already before you came over. This is the only one I've seen so far. <laughs> that got me good. Yeah, let's see it again, I'm gonna dude. Play basketball with my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm gonna play basketball with my little brother. Why is that so funny? That's so good. <laughs> I feel like that's something I want like to send to my friends. <laughs> yeah, so um, some of these are clearly our jokes, and others are just, I suppose, people doing dumb. Shit. That was not dumb. That was hilarious. No, that was so that was good. To... Oh, here we go. <gasps> Can you what drive away? Can... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's an Uber. This guy. What is the Uber driver doing? First of all, D hit the gas. Right. What are you, you doing? You take off from them in two seconds. And then she's like, just I, need to, break I need to call the police. No, it's like, no, you, that's not a situation. You just get out of there. But yeah, now it's now it's too late. Them. You f yourself. What are the police gonna do? They're gonna be like, where do you think that guy's gonna be by the time they get there? About sixty-five blocks away, classic city somewhere. I'm sure. Don't happen in the suburbs. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm about to see a psychic. I want to know if she can tell, you know, psychics can tell your future or whatever you're about to go through. So I want to know if she can tell that I'm about to do this. Hey! What the f is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? Get the f out of here before I call the police. I heard you guys were psychics. I want to know if you were able to talk to me. Get either. out of here! Get the f out of here before I call the police. That's not. I didn't know. I didn't know if there was. Keep your ass moving, man. What the f Yo. Random bystander getting involved. I, like, all he did was yell. Okay. It was annoying, but not, not. Not the nicest thing on the planet, but uh, kind also of. not the worst. Low key kind of funny because I'm kind of on the same page as him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, psychic, why didn't you know that was coming? What's, oh, yeah. What did that scare you? You know, <laughs> what? maybe we don't need to get into it, but there are definitely people who, like, firmly believe. And psychics, clairvoyance. Psychics. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a large amount of people, too. I would say a hefty portion of our audience is probably very into prediction, universe, astrology, signs, palm readings, tarot cards, psychics. To me, it's just another form of spirituality and religion. It's like just sure. looking yeah. for a purpose through the universe versus through God, essentially. You always hear the story from someone that's like, I know you won't believe me, but there was this one girl <laughs> that like knew and she predicted. And I'm like, okay, coincidence that coincidences do happen. Or I'm wrong. Listen, I'm not going to. I'm not wrong. <laughs> Leon playing video games be like. <laughs> nice. This Kirby enthusiasm meme. So. Maybe a lot more shouting, but yes. I mean, that, I, I feel like that guy was doing a product demo on a tech floor or something similar, kind of like from Aladdin when he's like, makes Julian fries, will not break, will not break, it broke. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why I thought of Aladdin. Then the guy's like, oh yeah, I can withstand a punch. Yee. Testing hairspray. This one's for you. Okay. Oh. Oh. Jesus. We'll sustain, even though you got a concussion. <laughs> I mean, for what it's worth, like the way the hair is styled coming down on the top of it's probably okay. Try to like come yeah, through try to rake it backwards the other way, and then we'll see how good it holds up. Mm. I just could never be me, man. If my shit needed that much maintenance to like have a hairdo, there was a small period of my life you remember I know. where oh I. Oh my gosh. I don't even know he what you call it. used to blow dryer on his hair. There was a time where I would blow it because I had like the undercut, so it was like shaved around the sides and then long on top, like this basically, but not styled like I was Middle Eastern. It was so stupid. After about like a month or two, I was like, what the f? am I doing? I worked at the restaurant, so I was more like worried at the time about- More worried than putting yourself on the internet. Uh, yeah, I know, it doesn't make sense now. I guess I'm seeing more now. It's different when you're IRL though, I guess. The worst part was I was bartending and sweating my ass off on double shifts and it would just end up falling out and like yeah, being like yeah. scraggly and look 
fucking horrendous by the end of the day. Please. <laughs> oh. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Okay. No way he's actually sitting on uh, that. It looked quite like it. Yikes, bro. Why, well, he was like pretty deep on that. Uh, yeah. Like clearly it was. You know, I don't want to make assumptions. Ass. Assumptions. We're just gonna assume that that man was having a good day or a bad one. <laughs> this could end badly. Is that what? a. Uh, oh, he's eating. <gasps> Come on, bro. Out of a Tupperware. Is that a pancake? It looks like one. It's like a little mini pancake. <laughs> Dude, what? And the person on the back of the bike is okay with that? We're just chilling. Yeah. I mean, she's got the brake right now. She's holding the front. Wait, is she actually driving it? Yeah, she's driving it. Okay. Man, nothing like your girl driving the motorcycle sitting behind you. Like, what the hell? he's like the little spoon right there. Just he's like the little yeah, spoon, literally right. the little spoon kid, just eating his pancakes while mommy's in the back driving the motorcycle. Testosterone levels plummeting as we speak. Oh, I've oh, seen boy. this. Have we? I think we've seen this here on like maybe the bed. This is great. I don't think I've seen. You've this. never seen this. But I can't wait. Nailed it. Oh, God. <laughs> so good. Lara Croft. Smoke show, dude. The face. Oh, my God. Honestly, like, that's right on the level. If, if you gave me a, a tattoo needle and were like, draw Lara Croft, that would probably be what it would come out like. Don't close. give yourself that much credit. No, you're right. It would, be, it would be way worse. But I never know if that's planned or what. But... There's no way you do that reveal and then post it online as some sort of flex. <laughs> Eating a corn dog on the elevator at the fair. Oh, what? Uh, you go let her bring it. You're going on the Tower of Terror. Yeah, I cannot believe that because that goes up high. That could you mess. just stick it in your pocket? She's definitely dropping it, right? There's no way. Not only that, but like the possibility to. of choking. Oh. Yeah, it just throws it. I, she probably had it in her hoodie pocket, if I had to guess, because yeah, yeah. they wanted to make a funny TikTok video. Now it just landed on some two-year-old and gave him a concussion. Kids. Watch out for those flying so corn dogs. So brain dead. Every last one of them. Also, yeah, you quickly mentioned choking. I yeah, yeah. That's a very real possibility. There's a lot, a lot of reasons why that's not the best idea, but you know what? Fafo. That reminded me, every time I see a, a video exactly like that now, Sorry, this is super morbid, but a couple years ago in Las Vegas, there was some kid that like, he was a little heavier and it like flew out of it. What? On the way down and just. <coughs> nah. Yeah, yeah. Holy. It was bad. It was one of my earlier Texas trips and I was with that group of friends and they're all a lot of vets and it's very like dark humor. Yeah. Terry, so like it came around in the group chat and I was like, I didn't want to see that right now. Oh my God. <laughs> it was not, not good. What's this? Porch pirate. Camera recording. Nice. I was just joking. But <laughs> what are you, my toddler? <laughs> that is too young to be a porch pirate, bro. Are y'all home? You know, not. Come on, no way. Oh man. Okay. Um. Um. Bye. Yeah, you definitely were not joking. I think that's legit. You went to pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just joking, and it whistles. Like normally, you would just like sprint and run away. I would think, but maybe he's trying to cover it, dude. Capital punishment for porch pirates, though. Don't care. We've <laughs> talked about this before. I hate it. They have no tolerance for None. slugs, loser. Like everyone has cameras now. Correct. What in the world? Excuse me, <laughs> bro. And what is that? What? <laughs> I hope he's going to the club. Dude, that thing is. <laughs> What the f I wonder what that's actually made out of, some sort of wax or something I, like that? I don't know. Maybe it hardens after a little bit. It's but like, all right, you don't have any hair to style, so we'll make our own We'll turn you into a blinking, a blinking cone head. Astronauts to the moon. <laughs> Annoying people at the F&F &F car display. I don't know what that is. This is no. the car. The Paul Walker set. Oh, you just made the replica of the car. No, this is it. Oh, you bought the yeah. same kind of car? It's no, it. Car. This is it. This is the car he drove in the movie. That's oh. how he bought the car. Is it wrapped the color of the car? This is his exact that car that he drove. Oh yeah, but God. did you wrap it like this though, so it looks like it? Okay, I'm gonna tell you this again. Yeah. The car oh, that he no, drove in the right Paul is. Walker? This Dude. is it. This is the exact car. It is kind of annoying. 100%. No so you guys got the same frame and you put... It's a pretty intense troll, but it's not as high on my list as like... You know, you're not going out. You're... I don't know. It's still annoying, but... It's annoying. It's not as bad as just rolling out in public and being a nuisance. Oh, <laughs> well... Oh, 
Mom's wedding. What's that? Me? Is he dead? What's that? I love how they have this giggling person at the bottom. I know. Bro, how the Oh my god, what the hell? This is another angle. There is a, I don't want to say a genre, but there is a affliction that has happened to people. Like, obviously, you see these stories pop up every couple of months or years where someone's like taking a selfie by a waterfall or taking a selfie by a cliff and whoops a daisy, they slip and fall and die. To me, that just has to be the worst possible way to and die. Yeah, so the moral of the for story the, is don't go near a cliff. For the sake, oh my God. Again, like morbidly, I've seen ra you know, random clips of people that are like, I don't You're know why. Sunshine and I don't know today. why I see these clips. I probably, it's just because. X is an actual shit hole, and you see stuff like this travel around when it happens, but nothing sadder than someone trying to take a selfie and dying for it. Come oh, on. Jesus Lord. What could go wrong? Nothing. Is this guy about to die or? Come on. Holy. And you trust that person down on the ground controlling it. All right. I guess just keep the experiment short. Well done. Yes. Yeah. All yes. right. All right. We so don't... for a stupid thing, they handled it pretty, pretty well. well. So that's not but... crazy. There are actually now personal drones that you can fly like little helicopters. I don't want to say retail or like ready for consumers yet. Sure. But I've seen videos of them testing where it's like you just sit in this tiny little cockpit and it's Yeah, like... but see, that didn't have like a little cockpit. No. You're like <clears throat> inches away from those blades. That clearly is not meant to hear a human. Oh, boy. Like, what? Holy sh**. The f did you? Are people all right? Wow, dude, the actual precision with which the butt of that thing hit off the back. And, oh my God. What did you think was gonna happen? I mean, you're just trying to smack. Well, yeah, you know what I guess he's going for, but my God. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> That's what I was talking about when I said you get a cell phone and your IQ goes from 100 to zero. Oh, yeah. What the hell with these videos? So this, I mean, this is a huge genre of people just doing absolutely insane. Shit. Yep. One I don't like it very off much. Off of a power wire. This you've is seen... more of a sweaty palm video. Yeah, right here. that's right. We've done sweaty palm stuff in the past. Like you've seen the ones with people doing parkour on like the top of yeah. skyscrapers and stuff. You know, a lot of these people end up dying. No surprise. Look at us. So this is what I, there's there's one thing there's like died. taking a cell. There's taking a selfie on the side of a cliff and dying, and then there's doing a whole ass backflip and executing it. Yeah. Two outcomes. You either die, or you have a pretty cool video that might get you a few extra likes to normal. Hope it I was, don't know. Should we balance hope out the it was worth outcomes? It, dude. Should we just, like, once a week replace one of no. these videos with us just going out and, like, running across the highway 20 times? No. You know, maybe it'll get a few more likes. I bet it'll give people the sweaty bombs. I'm in, like, 20% chance we die. <laughs> yeah. I'm sufficiently low IQ'd out right now. Some of those were, hold on, just for posterity, we gotta. Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. We gotta catch this one last time. Or, we gotta brighten the mood okay, back up. I'm gonna play basketball with my little brother. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna play basketball with my little brother. There's something so funny. Just... Oh wait, do you see how serious this comment is? Not funny, I didn't laugh. Your joke is so bad, I would've preferred the joke went over my head. You gave up retelling Holy me the joke. What the heck? To be honest, this is- Oh, whoa, I'm not whoa, reading the whole thing. Whoa! whoa this has whoa. to be a joke, right? It ha that, that Look at the size of this shit, dude. Science says before you laugh, your brain preps for fate. All right, this has got to be copy pasta. Excuse me? You know what copy pasta is? Well, I understand it now, but I had never heard the term. This, for instance, could have been like an original post on a Reddit somewhere from someone who was genuinely serious. And then it's so legendary how serious someone took something and they're such an idiot for it that it becomes like ubiquitous and people just start pacing on everything like that. Yep, yep. That would be my guess. Because, I, I mean, I can't read all that. That's no, crazy. no. I just don't want to. <laughs> you guys know, you tell me in the comments, is that copy pasta or was that person serious? Find out next week on Lush Life. Thanks for joining us. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye-bye now.